Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Chris here from Finland Mennonite Church. It's time for another midweek musing. This time where we remind ourselves of one truth from the previous week's sermon and the scriptures that we were in. Well, this last week had us in Psalm 73 where we saw the author of the psalm, Asaph, in this um, great struggle of doubt in doubting God's faithfulness. And, and we talked about what that looks like and, and how we maybe do it ourselves and and. You know, this warm weather really got me thinking, and I was driving down the road, I saw a sign that got me thinking about fishing. And you see, the sign I saw was about a trout derby coming up in the areas that uh, they will be stocking these trout. And, and that had me thinking about God's faithfulness. See, sometimes we can think of fishing, if you've ever fished on the opening day of trout in a stocked uh, creek or, or stream or stocked location, then you know you can pretty much throw anything in the water <laughs> and you're going to catch a trout, right? They put so many in and you don't even have to be a, a, a good fisherman uh, in order to reel in a really nice fish. And sometimes we can think of God's faithfulness like that. Like, hey, I did A, B, and C. Therefore, God, you need to show up and do what I expect you to, right? I do my part. You do your part. But see, fishing's not always like that. Fishing is generally more about this idea of continuing to faithfully cast your bait into the water regardless of what results you might be currently having or maybe previously had. And it had me thinking of this time I was fishing on the Juniata River. And it was a, a pretty tough day fishing. And my dad and I, we just kept throwing our bait in, throwing our baiting, reeling it in, casting the bait, reeling it in. And I actually ended up catching two of the nicest smallmouth bass that I ever did that day, simply because I continued to faithfully do my part, regardless of what the results seemed to be bringing in on the other end. And, and friends, this is what we're talking about with God's faithfulness. It's more like that. We, we can't just expect a formulaic response that because we're doing the things that we think we're supposed to be doing, that he needs to be doing the things we think he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, right? We continue to walk faithfully, even if we're struggling in doubt. We continue to turn to him. We can even bring our doubts to him. And then we, just like as we have a hard day fishing, we keep throwing that bait back in. You know what? Eventually, if we keep doing it, Maybe not on that day, but if we keep fishing, right? We don't just quit fishing because of one bad day. We go back out. Eventually, we're going to catch a fish. We're going to have something ignite. We're going to have an experience, right? We're going to see that time when, when we catch that fish. The same is true with God's faithfulness. We don't always know when he's going to act. We don't even know, always know how he's going to to act, but we can trust reliably, even by looking back on our own lives, that he will in fact act in certain times, in certain ways. And when he does, friends, it is glorious, it is wonderful, it is all inspiring. So my encouragement to you this week as you're following Jesus, where you live, work, and play, maybe you're not seeing fruit, maybe you're not experiencing the breakthroughs that you're hoping to, keep going, keep doing, just as it tells us in the New Testament, do not give up for if you continue in your work, God will soon allow you to reap a harvest, All right? So let that be your encouragement today. Keep tossing that bait in the water. Keep following Jesus faithfully and keep looking for when and how he's going to respond faithfully. Have a blessed day.